I keep meaning to bring this up in a video, but unfortunately I've been very, very busy and haven't had the time to really discuss this at length, but there has been a lot of discussion online, on V, on, on NeoGAF, regarding the current state of Sega. And th there's a lot of reasons for this. There's been a lot of rumors that like Microsoft is about to acquire them. There's no Sonic the Hedgehog game on the horizon. Uh, the Sakura Wars mobile game flopped. Uh, you're not you're not seeing a lot of people talk about that because it's not a Nintendo property. And uh, Yakuza is continuing to decline in, pro in popularity. Uh, it hasn't really been all that relevant since Zero in spite of like numerous remakes. Um, the sixth game and seventh game coming out like these games are coming out too quickly for the public to like, yeah, let's uh let's uh let's back up a little bit um why do i want to talk about the current state of sega because there have been a lot of interesting signs of major major changes at sega and because i'm not as plugged in to the uh the gaming sphere as i used to be i, I really don't know what to make of this and i really wanted to like make a video asking you guys what what you think of uh, the the recent demotion of Yakuza producer Nagoshi, uh, the guy that is always constantly shit-talking other Sega IPs and Nintendo consoles. Uh, that guy. The guy who's been remaking the same game since 2005 and thinks he's some, like, mature video game artor. The guy who made one good game Super Monkey Ball in 2001 for the Nintendo GameCube. That fucker. And I've already made a video talking about this. Uh, his allegations against Nintendo being a kid's console. But uh, being demoted at Sega. A lot of people try to damage control this. A lot of people try to say that like, oh yeah, he he, uh, he didn't like the business position. He he wanted to step down and focus on game development. He, he just wants to make more Yakuza for you guys. But I, I, I think there has to be something more to it than that. Like I think this is another Kojima situation in which someone was promoted due to their success with a, with a specific franchise tried to do something else, and then uh, failed spectacularly. And in this case, and, and I really do feel this way, um, I, I think it might have had something to do with the Sakura Wars mobile game. Uh, th this isn't something that is openly being talked about because, like I said earlier, this isn't a Nintendo situation, right? Um, <laughs> you have people pretending that Pokemon Go is a, is a bomb somehow. Uh, Sakura Wars was this massive, massive mobile game for Sega that they poured something like $30 million into. And because the IP has been dead and irrelevant since the Sega Saturn, it completely bombed. It lost Sega a bunch of money. Their refusal to put the game on, to put like um, the PS4 version on Switch uh, really cut into their audience and uh, th they bled money. And now it seems like they're in a very, very, very bad position. And... Uh, with so many of their development studios like uh, turning their nose up at, including Yakuza, refusing to develop for Nintendo Switch for no reason, it, it, it just stands the reason that like Nagoshi kind of got into trouble with Sega execs. Uh, it, 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 it feels like the Japanese gaming industry is is in for a real reckoning, right? Because because we're we're kind of at the point now. Where all of these people, like the Inafunes, the Kojimas, the the Nagoshis, the the Kamiyas, like all of these people who spent like decades trying to build up PlayStation and Xbox, trying to present this narrative that this, these were the consoles for the hardcore gamers, trying to um, trying to shit on Nintendo, trying to make stuff up about them, trying to motivate you to buy multiple platforms to play a different fucking video game. Like these people, they're getting old. They're getting they're getting tired. They're just they haven't produced anything of value in Kamiya's case since the wonderful 101. Like a game <laughs> ten years ago almost. Uh will be ten years ago. Um will be eight years in, in September. Eight years since he's produced a new game. Like can we really continue to expect these people to be held up as like beacons of creativity in the industry. Like, can we really expect these people to like uh, be more worthy of your attention and respect than, you know, the the Octopath tree the, the Octopath team, the the ARMS team, the 
the Splatoon team, right? Like, <laughs> like, do we really want to like keep pretend, continuing to pretend that it's the '90s and that like Nintendo is not cool for school, man? It it doesn't have blast processing. That that's the mindset we're in. Like these people are still trying to kill Nintendo, and in the end, uh, Nintendo outlived all of them.